welcome back to the channel. John here at the Pirates Garage. Um, I got new shirts. Look at that. The purple. Well, I've got them for my birthday. I like them. Anyways, so I'll give you guys a quick rundown. The Mustang's gone for now. For now, it'll be back. We have some touches to do on it. The 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 same person as a Mustang decided to go out and buy a 1973. AMC Javelin has the uh, 304 V8 in it. I I can't talk him into it. I'd love to talk him into making it into a Mad Max replica, but he's not. I don't know if he's all for that yet. But so I got a list of list of things that need to be fixed. So the ignition switch is gone. The door locks are gone. The trunk uh, the trunk is gone. So I had to source those, and they're actually on their way from Florida. Um, the wipers, he isn't sure if they were. I haven't, I haven't looked at anything yet, or as far, I haven't tested anything yet, but he says the wipers don't work. Wanted me to check them. Um, I'm assuming either switch or the or, or the motor. Well, I'll test all that and verify. Um, I did notice when I was doing a real quick overview, the washer reservoir that squirts the water up under the windows, it's completely gone just gone like the motor and the little filter that goes in the bottom of it is just laying there but the actual container is just completely gone so I'm gonna to have to try to find pictures of a 1973 Javelin to find out what the reservoir looks like to try and get that fixed if he wants to that's 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 on the customer um, I mean I'm, I'm sure it's probably like a $20 part but that's on him um, turn signals the switch is basically gone i think it all has to do with the steering column and the ignition but i'll go through and check all the lights um i know one of the reverse lights doesn't work i'm assuming it's a ball but like i said i'll go down through that avenue um the front marker lights in the front and the turn signals in the front they're just they're missing the lenses and they just don't even have bulbs in them um again not knocking other garages work somebody inspected it and none of the stuff was there so not pointing any names but just saying do your due diligence if you want a garage um we want an oil change done um i talked him into i'm going to pull the radiator flush the radiator the upper and lower hoses for the radiator for the coolant are spongy they're old you can tell they're old um so we'll get those hoses in and replaced they're they're not if I'm gonna pull the radiator and flush it, what's well, another twenty, twenty five dollars in hoses? I mean I, I gotta put hoses back on. Why wouldn't I put brand new back on? He's gives him the confidence and he knows it's right. Um, power steering when he brought it here was leaking. The high pressure line was leaking between the hose and the fitting, so I gotta get that hose ordered. Um, we'll replace the pressure line and the return line. Um, replace it with fluid and make sure it's all all good to go. Um, valve cover gaskets leaking oil like a sieve so I already have those ordered that are on the way um, that's just the, the smallest that I have right now uh, my goal tonight is to do a quick once over I'm gonna get all this stuff ordered I had to verify part numbers and stuff here real quick get this stuff ordered tonight um, and then I'm gonna actually go over the car I'm gonna take the wheels off I'm gonna check the drums check the, the wheel cylinders check all the brake lines all the fuel lines the fuel tank um, I'll go from bumper to bumper. I'll do like a like kind of like an inspection type thing. Um, go over it, get a list of things that that I feel um, are, re are need replaced. Give him a two different lists. Well, it'd be one list, but split into two. Um, things that need to be replaced, kind of urgently. Um, you know, like if like a, a tie rod under ball joints broken or. A, or a wheel bearing or something like just something of that nature if it needs to be replaced like for drivability um, that'll be in one part of the list and the other part will be like something weird like if it's missing a clip or something that's that's not urgent that um, would probably need to be replaced or repaired or whatever and I'll give them that list but yeah um, I like working on older cars it's, it beats doing electric and newer cars too many computers and too much 
there's too many variables in place in new cars. Old cars, they're simple. Like, this stuff is cake um, as far as electronics go. But the game plan is I'm going to do small videos here. Like, I'll probably break it up into like two videos maybe. Three videos. Um, like, I won't bore you with an oil change. That's simple. Um, I'm going to do the radiator. I'll do a video of that. The power steering pump, I'll do a video of that. Um, the wiring, I'll probably do like a, a small 10 minute, like I'll do a, um, kind of like a troubleshooting video. Like I'll, I'll figure the problem out myself first. I'll do a troubleshooting video. Um, and then I'll, I'll record it and then show you how to fix it and what I did and what I, what needs fixed. Um, just like this, those will be like small 10 minute videos, but all right, I'm going to give you a quick walk around of the car. Um, and then I think that's going to be it for this video. Um, like I said, tonight I'm just doing a list and getting stuff gathered up here. But give you guys a quick rundown real quick of what we're doing. I covered up his license plate so nobody knows who he is. And as you can see, so they, they've decided to uh, lift it up in the back. And put these wonderful uh, drop shackles to raise the back up. Bad little car. It's a factory AC. Oh, the shifter's not working correctly. Um, it doesn't latch, so you can actually grab a hold of it to slide it back and forth, which is not the way it needs to be done. I got the funny tire fries and tires in front. It's got the big old 304 in it. And that's what the VIN claims is in it. So we'll have to do a parts like a number match type thing. Like the lens caps is telling you about that the inspection station passed. Um, the ambient air tensor for the AC unit. It has an AC condenser in the front. And as you can tell, they cut the line for the AC unit here. There's one on the other, the other piece on the other side. But the pump, I'm assuming, sits right here is missing. They replaced it with an out-of-bar carburetor or cleaner. They took off the the big thing that's on top. But they plug the these lines up with spark plugs. So yeah, we'll have to fix that. Sit over here. See down here is the uh, this, is the <laughs> this is the pump for the washer fluid reservoir. It's just the, the actual reservoir is just gone. And here's an overflow tank. Yep. Like I said, they they drilled out the holes for the key. And then in here they took the, the ignition's gone. Let's pull. We're gonna pull the dash out. Um, he wants the lights changed. So the lights actually work at night. Um, you have the wiper switch over here. We're unsure if it's the switch or the actual pump out there. But we'll verify that. Yeah. Back here. Of course, like I said, it has a. Of course, the shocks are. It's actually not a bad little car, as far as rust goes. Service rust here and there, but trunk's not too too bad. But all right, I'll end up this the video this way, and then get you guys another video here in a day or two.